Uh, Jeff, good to see you. You have nine myths good here. This uh, study boils up to, to boils down to this. Russia is in trouble, on the verge potentially of imploding. Let's take, you have nine myths. I want to bear down on three of them. Let's start with this one. Russia is making up for lost Western business and imports by replacing them with imports with, from Asia. Why is that a myth and untrue? You know, Putin's trying to pretend that they can, you know, pivot east for, for energy sales, which, of course, is not true. And they're trying to pretend that all the companies that left, this historic 1,200 companies, multinational companies that left, aren't hurting them because they can substitute the imports from China. Well, not only have their imports uh, into Russia, as we've seen, plummeted by more than 50 percent, but in fact, taking a look at China's own data, they have their customs data as public, and it's pretty reliable. It's the, what they're sending into Russia from China has also plummeted uh, more than 50 percent. You know, they like to create this myth of um, bellicose uh, self-reliance, long, long Russian tradition of saying they invented electricity and, you know, uh, and airplanes and automobiles and sliced bread. But the fact is they're not self-reliant is they they are, you know, pulling about 25 percent of their GDP is is from uh, imports. And, and when you look at their two major exports, which is oil and gas, it's not as easy as just flipping a switch and saying, OK, we will send that unbought or uh, unpurchased gas and oil from Europe and switch it to India and China. And oh, by the way, sell it at a 35 percent discount. There isn't the infrastructure to get that product to those places. Myth number two, Russian domestic consumption and consumer health remain strong. Why a myth? It, that's also a myth, uh, is that we're, we're seeing that just what are people buying? There are malls everywhere. We have photographs. We have actually people on the ground in Russia and, and elsewhere, in Moscow and elsewhere, uh, that the stores are shuttered, malls are closed. Uh, of course, largely the, the uh, Western businesses that left, which is uh, 12 percent, if you believe Russia's numbers, merely 12 percent of the workforce, which is 5 million people right there. But we know that even taking their numbers, the indirect employment there is about three times that. So we're looking about 40 percent of the people out of work. The uh, mayor of Moscow, I don't know how he's doing these days, but back in April, he admitted he even by then he had hundreds of thousands of people unemployed out on the streets. So there's there's massive unemployment. You look at sales of critical areas such as, um, oh, uh, you know, uh, parts that they need for Apple supplies or industrial equipment. They, can't get, they can't get this. Yeah. Let's look at let's look at the final myth and then we'll talk. We'll wrap it up. Putin says he's running a budget surplus thanks to high energy prices. True or false? Uh, no, he's 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 running a, a deficit and nobody's going to fund that deficit because it's un, uh, uninvestable to put money into into Russia. In fact, of those companies who pulled out, we found the more dramatically they pulled out, the better Wall Street uh, actually celebrated them. So doing well and doing good were, were, were consistent with each other. Does, does Russia need to sell its gas to Germany even more than Germany needs to buy it? Good for you. That's something that a lot of journalists missed for a while because Putin was trying to create the opposite smokescreen. The idea that he is this great uh, global energy czar is running out of gas. That myth is crazy. Is Russia needs to sell about 85, 86 percent of their gas into Europe. Uh, but in fact, Europe only needed at most 43 percent of their gas. And now the U.S. supplies more gas uh, to, to Europe than than Russia did at its peak. And, and Norway substituting and uh, as, as they now develop uh, the uh, process to transfer uh, liquid gas back into uh, gasified uh, energy is uh, they're going to be able to take a lot from Algeria and other places in the world. So this won't be a problem. And this is going to be done by the end of this calendar year. So, yeah, Russia, Russia is very dependent. They're like a vassal uh, state in a uh, in a feudal system and a, in a mercantile system. But finally, and finally and quickly, they Putin loves to brag about the strength of the ruble. True or just a bunch of fertilizer? <laughs> you know that's fertilizer is one of their key products. Is uh, no, it's it's ridiculous. It's it's not an open traded currency. It, you can't sell uh, your rubles uh, your, for dollars or anything. So yep. it's it's a set price. It's closed and and in fact, uh, it there 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 there's no there is actually no volume of trading in rubles.